Welcome to Salem, just outside of Boston. On this rainy day, we're gonna actually put a stop to the British advance here in the Americas. Now, of course, there are a number of British regiments arriving, and we definitely don't have enough men to stop them. But nonetheless, I'm going to try and put up a decent fight, uh, immediately start moving up with some of these militia units. And actually, I want to make sure that they come in on the flank. Uh, with these units, we're also going to advance. We've got some colonial infantry units, and I want to push them right up there and actually make a proper battle line. I'll actually spread this thing out a little bit here. And um, another special thanks to the guys over there, Maxim, um, Nick, etc. I am loving this, man. We're going to do our best to try and halt them, but we've got a professional army coming this way, and we don't really have much in terms of professionalism. We do have a whole lot of militia units, and I'm going to try and use them uh, to, their, to our advantage. So we're actually going to go ahead and advance from the militia this way. Uh, we've already got some militia out here focusing on the enemy. In fact, some sharpshooters with Jay Richardson. And I'm going to let the sharpshooters focus on their sharpshooters right there as we advance with other militia units. But I really want to get rid of these Hessians uh, on our flanks. Here we go. It begins. I'm going to be using that counterattack quite a bit too, guys. I should say that counter charge. But we've got to get our general in here, Hezekiah Buster. Uh, we're going to pull him all the way there uh, and try to support that right flank. The The setup is wonky because if you turn right, it actually points you left. It, it, it's a bit odd. So we'll just get them there right now and, of course, continue with that flank. All right, we're going to push on through here. Oh, they're going straight for the charge. I want to get a nice volley first, uh, just in case. And we can, of course, counter charge if need be. Yeah, they're going for the charge. I saw it. I'm going to go ahead and counter charge there, guys. I'm going to counter charge with our infantry unit, too. Boom. And I'm hoping the momentum there, especially since these colonials have had quite a lot of battle experience, can send the Brits running. I'm going to have some units to take up their positions, of course. Uh, just standard militia. I notice one thing that's extremely important here um, in this game is to try and hit the enemy from multiple different angles. So I'm really going to try to um, do that as best I can. And we've got another very large group of British reinforcements closing in on our right flank, guys. We're, of course, going to have to respond to that. Um, hopefully later rather than sooner. And I'm going to continue to try and close them in. We do have a few red coats running. I love to see that, especially with all the rain going on. The powder is very dry, but the, our guys are trying to get as many kills as possible. And with these uh, reinforcements arriving, I'm hoping they can help significantly. I'm actually going to take these guys and start moving over to the right flank. Although, you know what? We have a lot of militia over there already. Let's try to overwhelm them here. You know what? That's a better um, idea anyway. Keep our general right over here, and I'm going to grab these guys. We will we will position them better once they arrive, obviously, on location. And let's go ahead and fill those gaps in with additional militia. I just want to keep putting the pressure on the enemy. Let's go ahead and hit this unit right here, the 86. I love seeing that artillery working on the enemy, too. They are definitely having to readjust here, but they have reinforcements. Like I said, a lot of units coming in from Boston to support them. Um, we brought every fighting man from every farm we could find to this battle um, just to make sure that we show the British that we do have an element of resistance here that will lead to a revolution. We, it's just actually 1775, so technically uh, the Revolutionary War is just now kind of beginning. Um, and, of course, the British don't take us very seriously at this point. I'm hoping we can change that after this battle. Although maybe, maybe not. It, it's a tough fight, no matter what we do, my friends. So I want to get over here. I want to focus on that 81. First Lieutenant Zephi Zephi uh, Zephaniah Brandt. That is a bizarre name, and I don't even think it's a real one. But what the hell? I know there's a lot of biblical names at this time. There we go. Um, another route from the Brits, and I think that might be a break very soon here. We're going to keep on pushing. We are doing quite a lot of damage um, to their right flank, our left flank. I'm liking that quite a bit. 
Let's keep pushing, man. Uh, I think we just need to keep on pushing that advantage. These are also professional troops. Uh, these are Minutemen, uh, not just standard militia. Now, we have not unlocked the Continental Army troops yet, but that's because the Continental Army has not yet been created. Um, we are just beginning, of course, but I love seeing all those redcoats down, man. We must have faith, friends. That's what it's going to take here. Uh, well, probably a whole lot more than faith, but it's a damn good start. And I need to keep my eye, of course, here on the right side. This is where I think things are going to get complicated for us. Uh, so I'm doing my best to sort of hold them off just as long as possible while I maximize the damage over here. And you can see we already have a few units, uh, mostly militia units, retreating. I don't like that, man, especially right there in front of our cannons. That's not what I like to see happen, but um, we've got to continue the fight. I'm actually going to grab this unit over here, try and fill the gap. Plenty of redcoats down there, but plenty of our men down too. Let's go, boys. Advance. Advance. We might have to go for a counterattack here. For now, I'll simply fire and hope that that's going to be enough. And actually, that was beautifully done. Our men routed the enemy almost instantaneously. Of course, the fight over here continues. They are smashing into our right. We are smashing into their left. <coughs> Pardon me, fellas. I think we're going to go ahead and try and retake that right flank. Any stragglers, I need them back up at the front lines. So we're going to pull these guys back, try and bring them back right up to the front. I know that the morale is not what it once was. That initial um, adrenaline from the start of the battle has worn off. And now, of course, the men are just hoping for a victory. They're doing everything they can, but they know that there's a long fight ahead. Let's keep pushing. It's actually probably be a really good time to do a counterattack. But I'm just too nervous to do it, man. Also seeing all of those enemies starting to fall back, guys, and route. It's making me want to hold our position and be a little more conservative with our approach. There we go. Lewis Thomas Brigade has routed too. And this is why I wanted to come in on the flank. We will have liberty, boys. And actually, you know what? Ah, uh, too late. I was going to do a counter charge here. I actually think we're going to do a counter charge right here, guys. This is risky, but I'm going for it. Sending in a whole mess of militia. That is the technical term. <laughs> no, it really isn't. Um, and as you can see, not going very well. When you send militia in to do, um, you know, standard infantry's job, they're not going to perform that well. And of course, that is going to reflect on our right side. But I'm hoping we can do enough damage here on the left that it won't make a damn bit of difference. And that we'll still be able to move on to a victory. This is certainly not the resistance the Brits expected. It's a lot more than they expected. Even the cannons are starting to run low on ammo. But as you can see, we need every single troop we can get here. Here we go. Every man that can fight must fight. And I want to take that tree line. That's, that's going to be a lot more valuable to us than anything else uh, in terms of positioning. So as the enemy advances here, we need to get to that tree line and start putting up a, a nice defense. We've got the manpower to do it. But do we have the time?
And again, I'm going for that same flank approach. Not bad, man. Look at all those red coats down. That's a pretty nice response. Again, I want to route this unit too. Any and all units that we can route are going to help us out. Let's move up. Move up. Come on, boys. We're going to bring the general with us, of course. David Bailey is shattered. That is another British commander there. Another loyalist commander. I shouldn't, I shouldn't say British because a good portion of the Brits fighting are really just Tory militias. Um, though in this game, they are represented as all redcoats. But a lot of these are going to be Tory militias, not necessarily um, British infantry. Although a lot are in this battle in particular. Come on, baby. <coughs> Not a bad start with the militia. And this is actually a situation where a charge might work. But again, I'm a little too nervous to try it right now. Oh, what the hell? Charge. From the front and the back, this should be successful. Yes, there we go. Managed to route the enemy there. We want to continue firing, of course, because I want to make sure that he does not come back. So let's give them hell. We can't we can't be honorable in this battle. We've got to be as dirty as possible in an effort to get that victory. And ammo is a big problem. I can see that. Keep it up, boys. Keep it up. Unfortunately, our artillery has shattered there. A hell of a loss. Um, of course, losing an artillery unit. Enemy is going to charge. I want to go for the counter charge. Not sure we can get it. And there we go. I'm also going to go for the counter charge here. Counter charge. Counter charge. They're routing our unit. That's never fun. And it might be time to go ahead, call it quits, and fall back. But that's the thing. Is we still have positions we can hold on to. So I'm going to fall back with our general over here. And I am going to continue the fight. We're not going to give up that easily. Unfortunately, these men, they're in trouble. Well, let's be honest. And again, that route is successful. We want to fall back to the secondary defensive line here. I'm going to go for that 37. 37, let's break it. Of course, even a single unit breaking is going to affect the rest of the army. Uh, even if it is a smaller unit, it's going to help us out. But again, at this point, I am considering that retreat. It might be the right thing to do. Uh, sometimes you need to retreat. And we knew that the enemy um, was in a much better position than we were for this battle. But I wanted to make sure to bleed the British Army. I'd like to think that we've done that in this fight. And we can retreat into Hartford, Connecticut um, to get some reinforcements. Um, and rebuild this army. But that's a lot of redcoats, and I think it's becoming a little more serious than just a very basic um, uprising, which is what they thought it was initially. And there we go. Man, I, I'm guessing, you know what? We're going to keep fighting. We're going to keep fighting. We could still break some units. Why not? Even tempted to go for a good old-fashioned... Charge! We'll hold out at the farmhouse here. Want to make sure that our general doesn't get um, destroyed or killed. So we're going to pull him back over here too. Here we go. We 
We actually did manage to route one of their units. They routed one of ours too, though. It's it's not much of a trade-off in our benefit. Let's get that 58 right there. I love those flanking shots. You can already see a bunch of red coats dropping just from that volley, but we've got a you know the the old thing wasn't it wasn't it Washington that said that the old uh, live to fight another day? I think that's the situation we find ourselves at here, where falling back at this point is going to save a lot of lives. Um, at the same time, those odds are still very even. You know, uh, this battle is likely um, an enemy victory, but it kind of could go any either way if I kept fighting it. Um, I'm not going to, though. I'm going to do the strategically appropriate thing, and I am going to leave the battle. And sure enough, it turned out to be a draw. Now, of course, the enemy has got more elite troops there, um, so we are always going to take more casualties initially in the war, but I think that's damn good. 1,182 of the enemy killed or wounded. Not bad at all. And I believe we actually destroyed entire enemy units here. This is what we were trying to do. And I think the main goal was accomplished. Again, if you like these sort of battles, make sure to let me know in the comments down below. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. A draw here, but a nice battle nonetheless. Tell me what you thought about it.